We have talked to Dr. Barry from the Grand Rapids Eye Institute about cataract surgery and some of the upgraded procedures available to patients these days. That's right, and today we're getting to hear from two of his patients who have chosen to have multifocal lens implants to correct their distance vision. Let's meet them now. We are at the Grand Rapids Eye Institute, the offices of Dr. Brian Berry, and today we are talking with some patients who've had procedures that have changed their life. We're with Russell and Carmen here. Now, Russell, let me start with you. You had cataract surgery in 2007. Yes. What was your vision like? Before that, I could see pretty good, except for the reading glasses. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so you decided to have the surgery done. You right. came in for LASIK right. to begin with. And he told me that I had cataracts, which had to be taken care of first. That surprised you? It did. I didn't know I had anything like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'm glad I had it done. Yeah, so Carmen, you also came to the Grand Rapids Eye Institute for LASIK surgery. Tell us a little bit about what you had done in your story. <laughs> I came because to see if I qualified for LASIK and I didn't so that was disappointing and at that time I wanted to know what were my options and I, there really weren't that many options at that point. That was initially I think 2005 um, so I stuck with my glasses that were bifocals at that time. I didn't like that. Came back two years later, what are the options now because there were some things in the works that just weren't FDA approved or whatever at that point. Um, and went with the lens implant and that's what I did. I was looking at trifocals next to my prescription and just didn't want to do nope. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can be honest here. Were you a little bit nervous? This is our eyes. Vision is very important. Me? And these are serious procedures, yeah. No, I wasn't nervous. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I figured if something happened, it happened, so. Mm -hmm. But it didn't. Good happened. Yes, good. Carmen, you're a mom of six. I, right. I wasn't nervous about the surgery. I was more nervous about putting things in my eyes, which also led me to the surgery that I had. I couldn't even put drops in my eyes. I tried contacts, and I just had this phobia of putting things in my eyes. Right. I can give birth, but I can't <laughs> put things <laughs> can't in my have eyes. That. No <laughs> that way. Was, and I just couldn't do it. Really? Would you do it all over again? I mean, has it been worth it for you both? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I bet a lot of people ask you about the procedure. How do you explain it to friends or family that actually ask about it? Well, I tell them the whole, process, the whole story. I had to go in for, uh, to check my eyes, and they told me I had, excuse me, <coughs> cataracts. So they took care of that, and then they put artificial lenses in. Mm -hmm. Now I can see again. Yeah. Wow. What about you? I explained it um, pretty simple that it was no big deal. It wasn't painful. I could, the results were immediate. Um, my son at the time, who was 10 then, actually came and watched the second surgery on my Really? Eye. He probably thought, he thought it was that was very pretty fascinating. Cool. Yeah. yeah, he likes science and that kind of thing. So, But it was very simple. I said it wasn't painful. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't anxious. I was just ready to not wear glasses. Explain the changes from before, of before you had it done, and then now, and what your life is like before and after. For me, I couldn't see anything without my glasses. It was, to me, I was blind. <laughs> I really couldn't see anything. I couldn't see close up. I couldn't see far away. Um, and it was just a big hassle to so constantly wear glasses. And for you. For me, it was amazing. I recommend it to anybody and anybody that asks. Even if they don't ask, I'm like, you know. <laughs> if they're complaining about their contacts or something, I said, you know, there are options out there. And, mm -hmm. and Because you're happy with what happened. Very happy. I would yeah. do it again in a heartbeat. Russell, you too? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I can read without glasses at all now. I don't have glasses. Really? Yeah. Wonderful. <coughs> we are at the Grand Rapids Eye Institute, the offices of Dr. Brian Berry. If you have any questions, give them a call. They would be happy to tell you anything you want to know. So how do you know if you're eligible for lens replacement? The best thing for you to do is to get a complete eye exam and have a consultation with Dr. Berry and his staff. That's right, and a lot of people do have questions mm -hmm. about whether it's covered by insurance, and the staff at the Grand Rapids Eye Institute tells us that it's covered only if a significant cataract is present, so okay. kind of interesting. Otherwise, it's considered cosmetic and would be out of your pocket. The Grand Rapids Eye Institute is located at 1959 East Paris in Grand Rapids. You can get a hold of them on the web or their main phone number, 616-575-6700.
That's right, and they're also on Facebook, and we've got them linked on our Facebook page if you want to check them out. Yeah, and don't forget their LASIK special, $500 off each eye. You have to have the surgery done by the end of August, so you need to get in there if you're interested in that. That's kind of like their graduation special, they were saying. I like you know, it. Before entering the workforce, great to have that done.